Good morning, everybody. Oh, this time I'm having some random thoughts again, but this one is actually a note to myself. But it's a note that I want to share with you all. A long time ago, I had a mentor, Mr. Haydad. The goal when we're trying to market a solution is that we want to avoid the Google Shop. I'll say it again. We want to avoid the Google Shop. So what is the Google Shop? So imagine if your prospects or your buyers or whoever go through your funnel. Most of you don't have a very elaborate funnel. It's either, you know, top of the funnel, which is your social media post, and then you've got your sales call. I mean, that's your entire funnel. Uh, my funnel, you know, might be a little bit longer than yours. That's okay. Point is, when they go through your funnel, at any part of the funnel, if they come across a word that they don't understand and they Google it, you've lost the sale. This is him and me speaking absolute, right? But it helps with your mindset. If you offer something that has to be Google, and when they go on Google, and what are they going to find? They're going to find your competitors' blogs and YouTube. They're going to go down a different rabbit hole, and they're probably going to end up buying a cheaper version of what you offer. It's basically a commodity. So, the way to avoid a Google Stop is to keep them in mind and keep your language clear, concise as possible. And more importantly, and I've told a lot of people here, is that you need a unique mechanism, which is, what is your process? What is the thing by which you enable this solution to happen, and that's called a unique mechanism. Typically, it's when you name your process. And why do we do that? Because it makes it feel exclusive. It makes it feel unbogable. So when you mix tampering down on the jargon, being clear and concise, so they don't, don't go on Google to search it. And at the same time, you provide a solution that feels exclusive and Special, the inky black method. Okay, now, they're going to be naturally cured. What is the inky black method? Oh, I got to find, what is the boom method? Oh, you know, take in what you already do, which is always a system of different processes, and you made it your own to solve this problem. If you haven't named it yet, you might want to do that. So you start talking about it, then brand it a little bit better. It should show up in your profile. It should show up in your content one bit at a time. It should definitely show up on the sales call. But I was thinking about it lately. Uh, with my content, I feel like, am I keeping people here? Or am I forcing people to leave my content and go find to help them understand what I'm trying to say? If I am, I lost the sale. Okay? So, anyway. That's my random thought for today. I don't know how much value that has, but I've been thinking about it this morning. Uh, the Google Stack and branding my solution a little bit better. So look for that next week. I'm going to start packaging my method, so to speak, so that people can feel like, oh, well, you can't just Google that. that. I mean, the only way I'm going to get that is from Doug, not from Google, because they're not going to know. That's why I should have already done it for the last two years, I don't just call myself a copywriter. And the reason why I don't call myself a copywriter, so you don't Google other copywriters and pit me against them. So I sort of won that, but there's another step to that I'm trying to figure out. So I'm sharing that thought with you. So let me know what you think. Maybe am I being crazy? Or share any thought you have about it. Cheers, everybody.